Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I will compare two websites or teaching you how to code or increasing your coding skills. First one is Lead Code and the second one is Code Wars. In this video I'll try to show you the pros and cons of these two websites and I'll try to compare them and at least in my opinion tell you which one is better from the other. So let's start with the lead code. Lead code is a very nice application that not only teach you how to code properly or faster or without the mistakes, but also they are trying to prepare you for technical interviews, enhance your skill and expand your knowledge. You can start by start exploring the site and they will try to find a way for you. There are uh, problems, for example, as you can see, you can get into them even when you scroll down and go by a questions, community and contest. And then companies and candidates where you basically are trying to find people for you. So not the other way around. So if you're a company, lead code will try to get you the right people for the team or for the job. On the left side though, when we want to uh, view the questions, you see there are tons of tasks that you can uh, compete on, complete or compete on. They are uh, differentiated between three categories, easy, medium and hard. They are pretty self-explanatory, so you don't, we don't have to dig deeper in what it means. You can uh, list them like, uh, into filters, lead code uh, curated algo 170, curated SQL 70, top 100 light questions, and a top interview question. So let's uh, basically go with uh, top interview questions, for example, and start with a two sum. Now uh, on the left side, you have the addresses or the thing they are expecting you to do and uh, on the right side you can pick the language or the code language that you want to compete in and complete the tasks then you can go into i don't know two numbers and stuff like that but they are not actually trying to teach you it's just about uh, testing your skills so when you pick, for example, two sum or add two numbers and stuff like that, it's not about increasing uh, your skill level. It's about not showing off, but uh, basically proving yourself that you can do it, that you are really master in what you're doing. And this way you can test it. There are difficulties, as I said, easy, medium and hard. Uh, to do, solved or attempted for the hardest parts and also filter by tags, for example, database. When you want to simply get rid of it, just press X and you are back at the start. So that's about it. You can even see some contests uh, and a leaderboard on who is the best at the moment or who's competing against whom and stuff like that this guy is from china so yeah we won't get much of it but for example this one has 109 contested attended and stuff like that then to the code wars let me show you uh the side of a code wars Basically, Code Wars is somewhat similar to, uh, to Lead Code. You are also trying to prove yourself to the world by playing a game. In Code Wars, you are uh, competing in uh, yeah, katas. The kata is a task or exercise created by other or other person or other com contestants at Code Wars or members of this society. The other uh, 
or the disadvantage is that it won't help you to prepare for the interview. So this is purely game ranking system. You start at eight queues and you want to work your uh, way up to rank one by completing all the um, tasks or exercises and basically proving yourself to others that you know what you're doing. Once you're in, let me show you, you can pick your language in which, which one you want to compete and also weigh how you want to uh, approach it to fundamentals, rank up, practice and repeat some beta exercises uh, or the shuffle them all together. I would say in this, the lead code is better one. If you have some long shots and you really want to know how to code or get into it, not from the beginning, but if you have like one year of experience, it's way better for you than just Code Wars, because now you are basically competing and trying to get as high as possible without actually learning and preparing for the interview. Lead code somewhat is helping you to get ready for them. So guys, that's about it. I would say the lead code is the one that I would go for. And on the other hand, uh, feel free to subscribe and also if you have any questions leave them in our comment section so thanks for very much for watching and see you on the next one